couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? <laughs> Nobody took my side. Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. I was young back then, too. <laughs> Even still, I just don't see you as a punk rocker. <laughs> and you laugh? Look at you. No makeup on? Dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch? Okay, back to work. Let's talk to Nick. Willie, how are you doing, boy? Hey, Willie, wait! Where are you going? You got me, Kason. Willie just ran off with some bones I was carrying as evidence. Bones? I can't really go into the details, but I need them. York, that's not good. Willie loves bones. He's a dog. And carrying bones around with him is like... Well, like throwing a blonde in a bikini into a boy's locker room. It's almost like you were asking for trouble. Sorry, but you're just going to have to forget about your bones. I better run after him now. I'll see you later. Forget about them. If I gave up that easily, then I wouldn't be a good federal agent. Would I, Zach? We're going to have to search his house, Zach. Let's get back those precious bones. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No! Get the hell out of here! Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. There's something I'd like to confirm with you, Olivia, if that... Uh... Oh. Meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there. They close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait?
Agent York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Okay, then I'm going to make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Okay, sounds good. See you later, then. Zack, about Olivia. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip columns. I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes.
Zack, picking up from where we left off, Zack, don't you think there are a lot of good-looking women in this town? It's like heaven compared to the town we grew up in. Do you remember Liz, the prom queen? Elizabeth Scott Moore. She could be royalty with a name like that. But you know, she was like an actress from a B-movie, wasn't she? Bleached blonde hair, too much makeup, clothes showed off her cleavage, and that mole by her mouth. Say, Zach, were you with me back then? You know, that mole was made with makeup, right? We happened to be on the same bus once. I saw her drawing it on with makeup. I wasn't surprised, I guess. Just impressed that she would go that far to create that image. Do you remember that movie we went to go see that day? I'll give you a hint. It was the fourth in a popular series, and was produced by Menahem Golan's Canon Films. Figured it out, Zach? Think it over, then. Call it your homework until next time.